Hi, and welcome to the battery shop. The 12 volt battery in this Ford Transit is located underneath the driver's seat. So there are a few things you're going to have to do in order to replace the battery in a vehicle like this. So because of that, we always like to recommend that you check with the vehicle manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to be sure that you're familiar with the project, you have everything you need, and you can safely and efficiently replace the battery in a vehicle like this. Let's get started. We are using a memory saver on this vehicle in order to keep the computer's memories alive as we replace the battery. The first step is to slide the driver's seat all the way to the rear. Next, remove the two seat slide stop bolt covers. Then remove the two seat slide stop bolts and you'll need your T45 Torx for that. Next, with the armrest up, slide the seat all the way forward. Next, loosen the three carpeted panel fasteners. And remove the panel. Next, remove the two bolts that hold down the metal bar. And you'll need your eight millimeter wrench for that. Next, remove the cable clips from the metal bar. And then remove the metal bar. Next, unlatch the tab for the negative battery post cover and remove it. Next, unlatch the tab for the battery cover. Now we can slide the battery cover forward and remove it. Now with our gloves and safety glasses on, the next step is to loosen the nut for the negative battery cable and remove it from the negative battery terminal. Next, remove the vent tube from the side of the battery. And for vehicles with a single battery, remove the battery's brace. Turn the battery. Next, remove the positive battery terminal with protective cap and loosen the nut for the battery positive cable and remove the battery positive cable from the battery positive terminal. Now we can remove the battery from the vehicle. And install the replacement battery. Now we can reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal. But don't pound the terminal on, as this can cause internal battery damage. Then, retighten the nut. Next, rotate the battery and reinstall the brace. Now we can reinstall the vent tube into the side of the battery and check it to be sure it's not cracked or damaged. Then, reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal and retighten the nut. Now we can reinstall the battery cover. And secure the latch. And now we can reinstall the negative battery terminal cover. Now we can reinstall the metal bracket. And reinstall the wiring harness. And the two fasteners. Now we can reinstall the carpeted panel. Next, slide the seat all the way to the rear and reinstall the slide stop bolt.
and replace the protective caps. Now we'll slide the seat forward again and we're done.